Hi everybody, how are you today? So, here we are approaching the midpoint of the year. How's your year gone so far? Well, we have a pretty big event, a full lunar eclipse, where um, at least where I live, it's going to be in totality. Um, the duration of it is not very long, but it's still fun to see. So what is the significance of this? This is a pivot point. And this pivot point is going to be about leaving things behind. It's also going to be about paying attention to the sensible things that matter for your life. And it's particularly going to pertain to money and health. And sometimes not in that order. Health and money, money and health, they kind of go together sometimes. They should. Um, being healthy can help you be wealthy. And what is wealth? It's not always what we think of as having like huge house. Please do not be misled about stuff out there that tells you like there's 2% of the wealthy. What I want to let you know, like I just saw this actually like 30 minutes ago. What the other 98% think and what the 2%. Those wealthy people also support other people. Okay. And this is sort of a mindset of like I'm putting other people to work. Um, it could be people that they tip. It could be people that love yachting and they can't afford a yacht. They work in the yachting industry. They work on a boat. Yeah, they're serving someone, but they're also maybe doing something that they love while they're being paid. There are people that are artists that are, you know, find their patron in a wealthy patron, you know, so we can't knock it totally. What you have to do is figure out what makes you feel wealthy. And this is part of this pivot point is to get out of certain mindsets and mentalities. So it's not just victim mindset. Okay, it's one thing to get out of that where you tell yourself, I'm not a victim anymore. But it's a whole other thing to get your mentality shifted over to move forward and think about you. And that can be selfish. But on the other hand, it could be also a part of taking the burden off of people, family, exes, children, future children, systems, okay? What are we coming up with also that are going to start solving some of the issues that we see out there, okay? Because it's time for the drama to stop, okay? Time for the chaos and drama there's going to be a lot of chaos and drama. Even if we look at the war situation, that stuff, right, if it's stopped right now, there's a lot of rebuilding that needs to take place. There's a lot of people to get healthy again, okay? And again, that is not the objective of war, but it does serve a purpose in the sense that it will put people to work doing something productive. Now, when it comes to money, okay, the Divine Feminine is nothing if she isn't efficient. And what that means is not overspending on certain things, not squandering your time, your youth, your health, on frivolous things. I mean, really start to get with the program here. This is about ascension. This isn't about chasing someone down a rabbit hole. This is about your own personal ascension and finally being able to get up to a level that actually befits you. Now that may sound hokey and some people think that's 5D. It is not 5D, but it is a standard of living. It's a vibration of living. It is a vibrational level that supports you properly. And if you're not aware of how that is, it really is time to engage with my work. The pivot point this time has to do with personal health, wealth, and well-being. And Everything up till now has been leading up to this. Other people might tell you you're being selfish just thinking about yourself, but you have to ask yourself, are they just trying to distract you? Are they trying to get you sucked into their drama? Are they trying to get you to keep doing the same old things for them with their endless series of crises? Okay. And a lot of us have big hearts. It's hard to say no. It's hard to not want to, you know, train people to fit in where, you know, before the pandemic, you know, like everything just kind of seemed to run and now it's a whole different ball game and you're trying to help people. Some people just don't care and they don't care because they're not really aware. 
I literally just saw someone, I went to the store and as the guy was pulling his van out, he threw garbage out the window and then he lit up a cigarette. And I just looked at him and I thought to myself, God, I'd love to say something about, you know, being a litter bug. And then I thought he could have a gun in his van. I don't really want trouble. And I just kind of let it go. And as I did, the wind blew it away. The wind blew it away faster than I could have taken care of it, right? Nature will take care of some things and we don't need to stress about that stuff. That'll garbage will land somewhere and someone will pick it up somehow, some way. Do I need to get in a fight? No. Do I need to let that dude's stuff ruin my day? Absolutely not. We frequently get distracted with what other people are doing instead of focusing on ourselves. And for women, this is doubly so. The ability to focus on yourself and really get your own needs met because it's not just asking for your needs. It's being proactively taking a step forward. Now, I am running a class on women's cycles for the Divine Feminine because there is a lot you need to know. And if you are not getting with the program, you are going to squander. Let me take that a step further for you. This eclipse being a pivot point means that the energy is conducive to it, but you have to lift a finger here. And what that means is you have the capability now to enjoy, despite your age, new lubrication, feeling like a natural woman, getting your hormones back into balance, stop PMSing, stop the cycles of bipolar and manic and hysteria and the depression and the migraine headaches, okay? Start with the feel-good stuff. Let's start getting the old template shed off of you. Shedded. Shed it like winter fur because we're going into the summer months. And the solstice itself is going to bring this shearing effect where it's like some people just, they're not, they're not in that season, okay? And some of it is by their own choice. And you have to be like, see you, I'm getting on the ferry, I'm going when I get there. That is my work. My work is like being the charioteer where I help people and I guide them and I ascend them to the next level. People tell me they see me in my dreams. In their dreams, I'm sorry. Nobody has my modality. I have a special modality that has been highly guided to be a very high multidimensional healer and make it easy. Do you have to lift a finger? Yes, you do. Okay, I'm not going to sugarcoat that. That was a lesson to me early on of meeting people that thought I could wave a magic wand and they didn't have to lift a finger. Listen, it requires maintenance. Only you can do that maintenance even with my instructions. You have to do it and make it as easy as possible. If you do not do this, you could drag it out for another two, four, five, six years or come around for another lifetime. My modality is special in the sense that you feel the results and you start feeling. In fact, some people feel so good, they almost think it's their own idea. But I'm in there. My energy is in there to get people ascended. If you've ever had a session with me, it may be time to come back for more of the work. There's no resting on your laurels, but there is more to be had. And there is less dysfunction and we need to shed that out. So in this lunar eclipse energy, I have three programs going on uh, currently. I'm going to be coming out with more integration webinars. Full moon, live and online for you to join via Zoom. I have a live event by my studio in person with a roaring fire. And I have the uh, Divine Feminine Women's Changes, which is in three parts as I guide and lead you through. Each one of them, you could live ask me questions, and I am intuitive. I am a very high-level Blu-ray intuitive. What that means is it's coming from source, not just getting to source. It works right through me. Am I with my twin flame? Well, let me ask you something. Would you want to work with someone who hasn't been uh, figuring out the easy way to do this the hard way by not with my twin flame? I mean, come on. There's people with, with someone and they never talk about this stuff. They never talk about 
actually what it's like in other dimensions and the ability to just melt into each other and all of the other things that come online when you are integrating each other's energy. What I have found is there is a purpose in this separation. So do not be deterred and do not be put off and do not think that, you know, maybe someone else because, you know, they have someone with them. You're going to find out through my work how it feels, how it feels. The only thing I've ever had to go by is my heart. And believe me, I have learned and gleaned and I have formatted it and I've made it as concise and easy to follow for you as possible. But come and join us uh, for an event. It's always a safe venue. And as always, I look forward to seeing and hearing from you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.